If you own a Shopify store and you want to add a fantastic low-cost email and SMS marketing system to your shop, you're in the right place. This is a system that I use on my own store. You can send 10,000 emails a month for free, then pay as you go if you want to send more at really low rates. In this tutorial, I'll cover a quick comparison between the top email marketing platforms, Klaviyo and MailChimp, and you'll soon see why Yotpo should be a platform of choice. I'm going to walk you through how to install Yotpo and link to Shopify. I'll show you how to create your first pop-up so you can get people signing up for a free lead magnet so that you can grow your email list and sell more products. And we'll also look at some time-saving tips on how to add more lead magnets quickly. Next, we'll dive into the email campaigns so you can schedule emails to go out for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, offering your customers discount codes with a time limit on it. Do you want to increase your sales in the next 15 minutes? Let's go. One thing I love about Yopo is the pricing. Look at this. So you get 10,000 emails every month for free. If you want to know how much it's going to cost you, say you want to send 20,000 emails a month. So it's going to be $1.50 per thousand with a total of $15. That's to hit 20,000 people. Just put in the calculator the number of emails you want to send out a month and it will give you a value here. If you compare it to Clavio, you get 15,000 for $45 and you're also limited on the number of subscribers you have as well. How many active profiles do you have? That's basically your number of subscribers. As this goes up, watch what happens to this figure. You can see how this one rockets up, whereas if you send emails with the Yotpo, you're going to save a lot of money. And the Yotpo don't make it subscriber-based. You can have as many subscribers as you want, and the price <laughs> is only for sending. It's also similar with other providers like MailChimp. You can see there, as the subscriber count goes up, the monthly costs start to rocket up. With Yotpo's pricing, it's a no-brainer. The more you send, the lower the cost per thousand becomes. Yotpo don't charge monthly based on subscriber count like other providers do. Pay as you send is ideal for small businesses who want to keep their costs down. Their free 10,000 emails a month is great for small businesses just starting out. This allows you to generate sales without spending any money. To install Yotpo, make sure you're in your Shopify dashboard and you want to go to apps. In the search bar, do a search for Yotpo email. And the one we're looking for is Yotpo Email Marketing and SMS. And you can read about it here. We're just going to go click Install. Then we just need to give it the permissions. You can read here about each one. Press Install. Get started. And then it's going to take you to Yotpo's main page so you can sign up for an account. Now uh, give your store a name and then create a password. Make sure you save your password, create the account, and just press ask me later if any pop-ups appear. And then it's going to ask you which channels you want to set up. So you can have email and SMS, SMS only or email only. Right now, I'm just going to press next. Then fill in your company details. Just make sure you've got your primary email in, additional email if required, your company name, your phone number, and whichever industry you're in. Next. So all these automatic marketing features, I'd highly recommend you leave them on, abandon cart. So if someone's halfway through your checkout and they disappear, at least it will send an email and customer win back. Yep, leave these on, press next. And you can customize your forms. For this video, we'll do, I'll do this later. I'll do this later. We just want to get it up and running for now. And then you can set up your welcome SMS message here. So you can adjust the text in here. And here's some of the short codes if you need to add those. And then we'll press finish. And then we're going to change our quiet hours from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And there we go. Here's your main Yotpo dashboard. We can get rid of that one. Okay, it's telling us we can't send it because it's not being verified yet. We can do this later on. And also you down here in the bottom right hand corner, you have got a chat with support and their support is available 24 hours a day, which is fantastic. So if you're a bit stuck and you want a little bit of help, you can just put your name, your email address, start chatting and their Yotpo support will help you do whatever it is you need to do. The live support is excellent. On a few occasions I've used it, the team were able to answer my questions and help me get up and running with campaigns. To make Yotpo visible on your Shopify store, go up to the apps and then just start typing in Yotpo. Click on this one, 
and then up in the top right corner, press pin to your navigation. You'll now see that your sales channels, we've got Yotpo email and marketing. And then you just go open Yotpo SMS and email. And that'll bring you into your main dashboard. And the first thing you're going to want to do is over on the left hand side is go to audience, lists and segments, and we're going to create our list. As you can see, I've already put some in already. And to create a list, we just click on create audience, create from a list, create audience, new empty list, and then just give it a name and press save. And you can create as many lists as you want. This is a great way of separating out your audience. So if they've downloaded a specific lead magnet, like a free title pack, or they're interested in DJI drones, like we've done here, you can put them in the correct list. To create our pop-up form, we want to go into Audience, Subscriber Collection Tools, and then scroll down until you see these icons. And then we want to go to Pop-up, Set It Up. And you can choose one of the pre-built templates, or you can create your own from scratch. I would suggest using one of their pre-built ones and customize it. I'm just going to click on this one. And what you can do is you can go in, edit the text by clicking on it. If you click on the background, you can change the image over here. So I'm not going to do too much on this, just so you know where it is. And then apply once you've changed the background. If you want to add a name field, you want to press these little plus symbols here. And then we can add first name field. I'm also going to add a birthday field so I can send people promotionals on their birthday. So you've got email, name, birthday, and obviously you can customize this as you want. And then remember to press publish. If this message comes up, just click on the X. Then up here, where click on this pencil, this is where we can name the pop-up. Give it whatever name you want. You can also see what it looks like on different devices. If I click up here, I can see what it looks like on a mobile and customize it specifically for the mobile. You can see I need to change the photo for the mobile. So just be aware of that. Then press publish once you've done editing it. When you're creating a pop-up, you can also specify which page it's going to appear on. So scroll down to here, under behavior, press configure. So you can set how long it takes before the pop-up appears, the frequency schedule, the floating button, and we want to go advanced conditions, add condition, and then we can put it on a specific URL. So you can have it on close or intent. So you just choose which one you want it to go on. I want to have this on a specific URL, so I could just type my page URL in here, press add. So just add the page URL in there. Press the plus key. Then you want to go save trigger. So you can have it on more than one URL if you want to. And then once you're happy with that, save and close. And then you want to save behavior. And that form's good to go and it should only appear on the specific page. To create our email flow, go to flows, create a flow, and then we want to choose a trigger. And the one we're looking for is new subscriber confirmation. Then we want to go add step, add a condition, select source, and then you want to go select operation is, and then you want to select. So in this case, if someone signed up for our free type pack pop-up, I'm going to select that one. And then we want to go add another step and we want to do an action. And this one, we want to send an email. So on the left, you can see you've got your sender details, send email. You can enable A-B testing if you want. So you could create two different versions. You'd put your subject line in here and your preview text. And then into here, you go and customize your design. And once you've done all this, you can basically send a test to see if it's all worked. And then remember to press save and give it a name of a flow. And it will warn you if you see this notification, if you missed any steps, it does expect you to fill all these in before you can start activating the flow and then press save and you should be good to go. If this is the first time you're creating an email flow, if we select the email and then you scroll down to the bottom left here, we can go edit the design. 
in here we can customize things like your logo, the different menu items, or your sort of headings. And you can also adjust things like product recommendations for the buyers. And then they've got their usual things like opt out and all the different social media links. So you could save it and style it in here. One top tip, when you're editing your email and design, when you're working on it, just bear in mind that it doesn't auto save in here. So if you close the window, you're gonna lose everything. You can go back to the flow and then make sure you press save, otherwise your email changes will not be made. If you wanna send out something like a free lead magnet, in my case, I'm gonna send a zip file. I've customized the button, I've told it to go to the site. And what we need to do now is go into our Shopify store, go to content files, upload files, and then we're gonna choose the file that we want. And then we want to copy the link, go back into our email system, and then where it says link site, we can paste that in there, and then we can press back to flow and save. If you've got several lead magnets, one big time saver, if you go into flows, instead of having to recreate it from scratch, if you know it's gonna be the same format, we can just go duplicate, give it a new name, save the flow, and then we can just go in and make the changes that we need to do. So I'll just go into this one, click on it to edit it. I'll just change the email and change the link of the file that I need. Go to the email. And another thing you can do, if we go to edit design, so I would just change the text here and then I'd swap the button link for the other link that I've just uploaded. And then all I do is here's our new lead magnet, copy the link and then just swap the button over. Edit the text as required. When you're building out your email flows, you can also add another step add action and you can add that person to a specific list which i highly recommend doing so in this case i know that if this person's downloaded the davinci resolve tutorial for beginners i'll add them to this list because then i know that that person's interested in learning to video edit and you can adjust your marketing around that for black friday and seasonal holidays a campaign is what you want to use we'll go to campaigns create a campaign so you can either choose SMS, email, or multi-message. You could do both if you want. In this scenario, we're going to do email, create campaign. We're going to choose our audience. You can choose which specific list you want it to go to. In this case, I'll go to all subscribers. We'll leave that as is, soft band. So if they don't reply to previous emails, it won't send it to them. And we can set some parameters here so you can tell it if you've emailed someone in the last eight hours, don't send it to them. If you do want to send it, uncheck that. We can put the sender details in so you can change this bit and you can put in different email addresses. You can create new ones if you want a different address. And this is where we're putting the email subject. Fill in your subject line, fill in the preview text, and then we can add a discount, which I highly suggest you do. Add the discount and you can set it to whatever you want. So I chose 30% for this one. Each customer gets their own unique code. This is better. Apply discount to entire order, specific products or collections. So you could choose which one you want to apply it to. You can also set a minimum purchase limit. So you could say to them, if you spend $20 or more, you'll get the code or you could just leave it as is if you just want to apply it. Code expiry, definitely you want to set an expiration date on it. So I would give mine like three days. You can add a prefix code if you want to. So you could have things like Halloween for Halloween. I'll leave it blank and just use the default. And then you could set a custom landing page on your website. For when they click the link, it'll take them that specific page. And then you just press save. What we need to do next is go down and give it a date. You can see there by default it's set to send now. If we click schedule for later, you can set a date for it to go out a time and also set it to send it in the customer's local time, which is highly recommended. And you'll note here that we've got to apply discount code. What we need to do is go up to here and we're looking for this little symbol, add personalization tags, click on that. We can say campaign discount, discount code. And there we go, it's put that in for us. And all we've got to do now is add our discount code to the email. So go to edit, 
click on the text and then we can add our discount code and up at the top here here's our code window click on this and we're just going to scroll down until we find the discount code add the discount code in save and close it's now showing us the discount code is there we can press edit I want to increase the number of products it shows in the email click on the products and over on the left hand side where it says max products to show just increase this until you're happy and I'd recommend probably products in row two so two is a good number to have because it looks nice and neat you can save it before you send out the email you definitely want to send a test email to yourself to make sure it all looks correct because uh, if it's not and you send it out to thousands of people you've just blasted that out to your entire library one of the big things I like about Yotpo is the interface. It's just really user-friendly and intuitive. I can set up campaigns really quickly. It makes sense. You can set up email flows, actions, and yeah, I just it's just a really good platform. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and smash that subscribe. Well, if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice, and thanks for watching.